Hello, it's the man in the hat here from Nelson, British Columbia. I just wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you about Nelson during the Butt Boys radio program. Come to Nelson, British Columbia. There are mountains, but you can't climb any of them. There are thrift stores where you pay twice as much as you would at Value Village. There are dreadlocks, but they give you bed bugs. There is one grocery store. Everything is unaffordable. There's a great nightlife. It's one guy breakdancing at a bar. There's Graham. I have a great view of his bedroom window from my spooky rock. There's an airport. It's only five hours away. There's a nice beach. That's where Graham won't take his shirt off. So come to Nelson. Come see Graham, and you might not be completely and utterly disappointed. Man in the Hat, signing off. Babies are the ultimate parasites. god damn how you doing oh god damn doing well doing well yeah yeah what have you been up to I'm just enjoying the holidays yeah you enjoying your time off yeah well i've been off work for like two months prior so <laughs> <laughs> but now i don't feel like as much of a piece of shit doing nothing like i feel like oh i'm supposed to be doing this like i'll yeah. wake up just put on sweatpants this is what I'm supposed to be doing now. Where you were, in reality, I was doing this like for the last two months anyway. You finally earned it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. I've been off for like, I don't know, 10 days now. And uh, yeah, it's just every day just blends into the next nowadays. Yeah. Wake Especially up. With this lockdown. Yeah, well, there's nothing to do. I just wake up, drink coffee, jerk off, play video games. Yep. Rinse okay. and repeat, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you just described my day today. Exact in that order, exactly. Yeah, that's all. I that I have a like a little system going. It's good. Yeah, Sometimes yeah, it's a I'll, good system. Yeah, I get I get drunk during the day and go for walks with my parents. You know, that's nice. Yeah, that part's been pretty good. So yeah. uh, last time we uh, did this, we uh, got a little fucked up on mushrooms. Yeah, I guess we did. I guess we did. I guess this is. Yeah, it feels like it's been like weeks since that. Yeah, definitely. Like my, that was a real bad trip. I mean, a good trip. Like I was tripping hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After well, the mics like, went off. Yeah, we were. <laughs> yeah, I have a I have a video of you just on my floor. Really? Yeah, I don't think I ever sent you that. Is it rude? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's rude. You know, you know exactly how it's rude, too. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to send me that just for my personal vault. Or if you ever want to, yeah. like, sabotage me or whatever. Yeah, I'll send it to you after this. It's pretty well, funny. Once I get into politics, that video will make the rounds. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, it's a, real we... David, it's a real David Hasselhoff moment. <laughs> yeah, didn't we eat, like, 10 clementines? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I woke up the next day. I had a full bowl of, like clementines on my island in my kitchen and in like four bananas and there was one banana left and like 
two clementines left. That's crazy. <laughs> and just clementine skin, like all like I was just picking up clementine skin all over the apartment. Yeah, we also drank 40 ounces of whiskey. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you know what? That's not bad. Oh, you know, we're eating healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then, yeah, we drank a 40 of whiskey. Yeah, that was a that was a very punishing. I had a really good time, though. Like, yeah, that was, was fun. Man, we I was laughing my balls off. I, like, that's why we had to stop because I was I was in the zone. I was tripping out yeah, so yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how you told me, like, I, I don't know how to turn this off. What do you mean? Just... Throw the camera through the wall. <laughs> yeah. I was willing to do what anything. Do you mean turn it off. <laughs> You're like, the people still want us to keep going. I they couldn't handle did. it. Mm-hmm. People enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, I hope they enjoy this one too. Yeah. The, the exact opposite of that one. Yeah. This one's going to be a lot more mellow. Neither of us. Well, we've just been. I kind of forgot we even had to record a podcast, if I'm being honest. I forgot I even still did this. Yeah, no, for sure. That's I was like, has it been a week already? I Have know. you, um, you know, Olivia Munn? Yeah, the old. Uh, she, I remember she did that old gaming show. Was it G Four? Uh, really? She hosted it. Yeah, that's like I think it was like one of her first jobs. Now she's like yeah, an established actor. But I remember she did. Uh, was it G Four? Was that the show on Spike TV? Like, I don't know. She hosted some gaming show, the video game show. Well, I, I was like, you know, just looking at, I was seeing if she had some fapping stuff yeah. and, uh, I, f- I found, uh, <laughs> I found her like, I guess what's the guy's name? Chris, Chris Pine. She, uh, sent some like dirty pictures and like photoshops to Chris Pine. He's the, uh, he's that actor. He was in, uh, Star Trek, Wonder yeah. Woman, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's Captain Kirk in Star Trek. And I guess when they were dating, she sent him like polaroids with like some shit photoshopped into it like funny what? phrases and stuff oh really? like yeah yeah it's like chris i love when you finger me in the doorway lick my tight asshole and choke me so hard i can't breathe <laughs> which part <clears throat> so that's all like photoshopped into the photo yeah yeah i don't know what it's like a, Is it's it a like snapchat a, that's really weird no it's like a greeting card like an, remember when people first started sending people instead of buying somebody a card you just send them an e-card from e-bombs world or something like that <laughs> yeah 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 it was like it's like that it says like you know pull my hair push my head down shove your big long dick in my mouth so i tear up and choke <laughs> Sometimes the celebrity like leak nudes are so weird, like it's so strange. <laughs> Just slap like my this p- one, slap my pussy till I come. <laughs> That's Damn. good. Yeah, that makes you know, sense. It's... Come from her. I had a huge crush on her when. I know. I was yeah. just like, that's when I remember seeing these a couple years back, and I forgot about them. And then when I, that's why I have had a huge crush on her for so long. Cause you know, she's, uh, such a, f- you know, like you know, a, she's a slut. <laughs> she's a dirty talking gal. She was, so was that, uh, like included in the, the main batch of when like all those celebrity nudes were leaked? I actually she, don't know. I, I don't know when these came out, but they're, uh, they're popping off, dude. Takes it yeah. to a whole nother motherfucking level. Well, now we just have deep fakes. Yeah. That's good. Now you have someone me. deep faking fucking Robert De Niro on, uh. <laughs> Uh, Nolan <laughs> North or no who's that that's a video game voice actor oh uh, Peter North <laughs> Peter North <laughs> <laughs> Nolan who did Nolan North do that voice um uh Nathan Drake from Uncharted oh yeah yeah no that's yeah. Peter North Peter North is uh he's a Canadian boy I wish they got Peter North the uh, voice Nathan Drake of Uncharted apparently Peter North had this thing where he didn't like getting his hair touched like he you know he's known for having a big dick and doing really big cum shots but he hated when uh female stars touched his hair really why was he such a diva about that i think maybe it took him out of the zone you know what i mean like he was focusing all of his energy on keeping his wiener hard and right right, right. when he touches hair it kind of fucks that up but i think he's from like i've never even seen him oh he's man he's like really fa- like jesus christ that's where really that, what that well, that photo, isn't that, yeah, isn't like one of your, I recognize him now. Like, yeah, yeah, I know that was you, my old you Facebook use him as like profile. A dis- yeah, that's right. 
<laughs> my gra- I saw my grandmother briefly for uh, Christmas just to drop off some shit for her. And she was yeah. like, Eli, because she's now into like Facebook and stuff. <clears throat> and she's like yeah. 87. And I guess, you know, this is how she communicates with everybody. And nobody, like I don't use Facebook, but I guess she found my old Facebook, the one with the Peter North display picture. <laughs> and she's like, she's and like she just, oh, I didn't. I I've been seeing Eli in all these videos. <laughs> yeah, no. She was like, she was wondering what I was saying because, like, I would just get drunk and make really stupid posts on there, it's, right? Of course. And and she would just try and decipher them, but she didn't like. They were like hip hop references and stuff. She's like, I was trying <laughs> to read your face. I didn't understand any of it. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn, I just, in the back of my mind, I'm like, why the fuck are you on my, on Facebook? And why are you looking from, I just hate that old people are looking at Facebook now. Yeah. It's all, they've all migrated over. Yeah. They've all, yeah. I have like a set, uh, like a filter. So people, like I filter certain friends and like family members out, but now I just don't care. I don't Anyone know. that looks like you can't access your page. <laughs> Yeah, your exactly. grandma just looks like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, now it's just all Indian kids who have like pictures of hot women on their profile pics. Those yeah, are my, just, fr- those are my fa- Facebook friends. And your you know real what? friends They're are becoming my real friends now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, either exactly. that or just like display pictures of anime uh, stuff that I don't understand. That is my feed, man. It's like Indians and anime girls. Which like dudes two- with anime girls. I like both of those things off Facebook, not on Facebook. No, I don't want to see it on Facebook. I'll see it. I don't know. Somewhere else. Yeah, well, I, I was looking the at IGN you know, forums. The, oh, the IGN boards. Those were the days, bud. I used to post on there all the time. Yeah. The vestibule. Shout out to the vestibule. Was that an old forum? Like an old thread? Yeah. Well, it was like, because, uh, you know, IGN had like music forums and stuff like that this one was just like the anything goes kind of shit posting one. Oh, okay i never fucked around with those really uh, i was super involved with that stuff well i tried to be but i wasn't good enough yep. at like being cool on those yeah, i was good I'm, on the i was on the emo boards for ign and i used to just anytime somebody would post about like my chemical romance i'd be like mm, that's not real emo music and i just yeah. list off the same 10 bands to, to people <laughs> Did you ever try and like uh, flirt on like or like try and like have sex talk with oh, girls yeah. and like forums? <laughs> yeah, because I remember when I was like 11, I had a ICQ because my brother had ICQ and you could do this thing where you could just start talking to a random person on ICQ. And I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. talking to that like a, a... That was the it, chat room, right? Well, it was like an instant messaging platform. It was like the right, OG right. MSN Messenger. Oh, that's right. It preceded MSN. Yeah, so I remember having like crushes from that, even though I was like 11 <laughs> and they were like 70 year old men. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to fly yeah, me I out to Venezuela. Him. Yeah, me and my friend, like, uh, t- like we're, we chatted with this girl for like three hours, I think, desperately trying to get, get her to send us a boob. Uh, nudes. Yeah, yeah. and it was, it was probably like a 70 year old woman. It's like booting up her Dell. PC. Yeah. She was just thought she was going to have a nice, friendly conversation. You're just subtly trying to drop like the show me your tits message to her. Yeah. I'll be your grandson. <laughs> yeah. Show me you your fuck. Show me your old tits. Let me suck on those old milkers and I'll be your good grand boy. <laughs> yeah. I remember one of my first crushes was from Neopets. Actually. Yeah. A ch- I could uh, never actually really get in. I never like pass the threshold of Neopets of like being you know. a casual flash game. Yeah, I always tried to get into it and then never, probably because I wasn't, I, you know, I wasn't using it for its purpose, which is finding pussy. Yeah, Apparently. I was using it to get some tail, like dog tail. <laughs> no, I I, uh, I used to uh, be a part of a guild on Neopets. Like, I was balls deep into it, dude. I was like mining. I was, there was like, a, I think there was like a Neopets stock market for little kids. Yeah, it was a and deep game. Yeah, shit got real, dude. And so I yeah. joined a guild that a woman was the leader of. And I was like 13 and she was like 17. Yeah. And I used to try and flirt with her all the time. That's nice. Did you ever uh, succeed? Uh, you know what? It's like emotionally we were there, but it wasn't sexual. Yeah. But I think like, she had like feelings for me. Isn't that crazy that some people, like people do that a lot now, right? Like on online games. Oh, yeah. People getting like legit relationship. It's a very emotional thing because, you know, 
you're alone on this fucking computer and you're probably sad, right? That's yeah. why you're there. Well, that's literally everybody right now. Literally everybody yeah. right now is two steps away from like opening up a, I don't know, what's the latest MMO? Fucking yeah. probably still World of Warcraft, I guess. Yeah, like yeah, League people, of Legends. Yeah. And then just living on there and like having a fucking wedding. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're having our we're having my cousin's funeral on League of Legends. Yeah, <laughs> it's not even weddings; it's just COVID funerals on League of Legends. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, man, it's fucked. It's super fucked. But yeah, um, do you think yeah. the new year will will? What do you th- what do you think about this new year? Do you think it's gonna be a good new year? I thought twenty twenty was gonna be fucking bomb. I was. I remember I was at a house party. And I was wasted. And, it was like uh, March 11th. Was, <laughs> and you're like, nah, yeah. this shit's not going to come here, man. It's fine. <laughs> no, I just said, yeah. like right at New Year's, I was like, 2020 is going to be rad, man. I can feel it. It's going to be my year. Boy, yeah. was what I wrong. Was, personally, I had a good year while everything else went to, you know. Yeah, you did have a good year. In, yeah, it was okay. I like, I feel like. Yeah, man, it was a good year. I feel like I, there was a lot of personal growth in many ways. <laughs> While but the I, world around me burned. <laughs> I always see people being like, can we just get 2020 over with? And it's like, you know, Bob Dylan's dying in 2021. Yeah, you know, Scorsese's dying. Be, yeah, 2021 is going to be even worse. So Yeah. <laughs> People are like, yeah, can we just get through this year? Like, you think that anything good is just going to magically start again? I get it. The fresh start. It's an idea. Yeah. The human <laughs> brain is so stupid. We're like, ah, once once January 1st rolls around, it's like hitting that reset. But no, it's just <laughs> what like the trend that's been happening is just going to continue happening. Yeah, well, it's like three, two, one. Yeah, it's the best year of our lives. And then the Chinese people are like, "Please yeah, Chinese go people back in time." On this. <laughs> Please go back oh. in time. It gets so much worse. <laughs> I was gonna say that you see Chinese people like rolling up in the shores, like like they're invading us. It'd be funny if Chinese people acted like they were from the future just because they're further ahead in us in the time zones. <laughs> They're like, oh man, I can't wait for Wednesday. They're like, oh, Wednesday was a bad day. <laughs> well, let's go back to warn them. Yeah, I don't know if that's a Japanese. That's like a samurai yeah, ghost it's of a, Tsushima. It's a, it's a samurai. That's specifically yeah. a ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> yeah, that's, just, that's an accent from the time of Ghost of Tsushima on PS4. Yeah, it's PS4 a specific, BC. It's an NPC character from Ghost of Tsushima. And that's oh, our impression. Go back. Priest, go back in time. Wednesday was go a dog shit. <laughs> Wednesday was a very shitty day. <laughs> I had to warn them that Wednesday we get fired from the factory. You just see him dressed up like Christopher Lloyd in fucking Back to the Future. <laughs> he just comes out of the DeLorean. He's like, oh, take that back. Wednesday was a shitty day. <laughs> <laughs> and now he got there so fast. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> fuck indeed. Fuck so, indeed. My biggest terrarium is fucked now, dude. Yeah, what's the terrarium update? Terrarium update, Eli Godfrey 2020. 2021 is going to be the year of our lives, people. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, um, I introduced like a plant to my big terrarium because it was it was doing really well. And I just wanted to fill out the space a little bit because there was a little bit of space there. Nice. And I, and, they're surviving uh, in the basement, those uh, UV lights, they're working. Yeah, you know what? They actually are. And nice. yeah, everything's going good with the plants and the terrariums, except for you this. You should see the, well, except for what? Well, I fucking, I added these, uh, I forget what they're called, common duckweed, which is supposed to be like a pretty normal ass plant. And I was like, the worst that could happen is it'll just spread throughout the terrarium, but they're like low plants. So I thought we were fine. Right. And then um, <clears throat> the next day I see these fucking I love white- this saga. It's so awesome. I see these fucking white millipede looking motherfuckers and I threw nine of them in the garbage. I mean, in the uh, toilet and I flush. I'm like, well, glad that's over with. The next day, there's like eight more. And I'm like, oh, no. Yeah. Trying to kill like bugs by hand is pretty. Yeah, but I don't want to go like open up a a jar and spray some fucking bug (laughs) killer in there and seal it back up again. (laughs) I know know. you're kind of like you're kind of stuck with them now. Are they eating the plants? Well, yeah, they did. They ate, um, they haven't touched my biggest plant in there, which is amazing. It's like they don't like it or something, but they ate pretty much all of my fern that's in there. And I'm really disappointed. Yeah, that was a really nice fern. So 
It was a mm-hmm. rabbit's foot fern. And um, I also discovered there's like two, probably like five inch long worms living in there. And I didn't put them in there. That's cool. How does that work? I always wonder. How do they just uh, well, cause I spawn use, from fucking thin air? Well, I just come into it. Like we've said it in past podcasts. I just bo- right. bo- boiled come into jars and see what that now. Yeah, they're, they're cum worms. <laughs> yeah, they're Wait, just never getting, cum worms. <laughs> yeah, also known as my fucking dick. You know what I mean? My no, dick. My fucking dick. No, I uh, I use soil from like a forest sometimes and I mix it with potting soil. And sometimes it has like yeah, eggs and shit. Of course, that makes sense. And larva and stuff like that. So you do get yeah. some mystery bugs in there. But That's I think cool. I, I, still, I still haven't started one on my own. Well, not a good time unless you want to start an egg lay terrarium. Tired. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I can barely uh, take care of like two. Pl- That's what I have. I have two plants. I don't even know the name. One's a fern and one is so fucked up. It's in my office right now. And I think I've brought it up before, but basically uh, in the summer, I was able to put it outside of my basement and the tops like new, um, there was like new growth. I don't know what you call that specifically. I remember that. And then, yeah. So at the top, there was like a bunch of new growth and before it was doing very poorly. And so I thought like, oh, good. It's in good shape because, it was, you know, it got to be outside for the summer. It's back in my basement right now. Pretty much all of the leaves have fallen off yeah. except for the tops. So it looks like a palm tree now. Yeah, it doesn't it's, get enough sunlight in there. Yeah, it's just it's too dark. Honestly, the same thing. I think I have I used to have the same plant as you and the yeah. same thing happened to mine. And I it used to I used to take such good care of it. And then all of a sudden. It just started dying and it's a piece of shit plant now. It's never coming back. The problem is I keep spray painting it with silver spray paint. Just like grandma. Yeah. Just Good like callback. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, thank you. I remember going to your house uh, sometime like last summer and you were like, I don't know, man, there's something fucking wrong with my plant. And I'm like, have you overwatered it? <laughs> have you overwatered it? You're like, I don't know. And you like lift it out of the pot and it's just dripping with fucking dirty old water. <laughs> It was a full, it was a full pot of water. Yeah, like I didn't I didn't realize there was kind of two pots in it, and it had just been every time I'd watered it, it had just been collecting water at the bottom. Yeah, and if the roots yeah. are big enough, they'll seek they'll go through the holes in the one thing, and then just get yeah. flooded by the rest of the water. I don't know how I was like a landscaper for like five years. I don't know how I did that. Fucking, you were too charade. busy coming up with scripts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, was, I, was, I was coming up with scripts about landscapers. Yeah, he, for real though, you, he came yeah. up with a re, you came up with a really good one too. Yeah, it's that one cicada. One yeah, it's cicada. Yeah, I like that a lot. Maybe one day we'll do it. I want to, you know, man. I was uh, I was actually on when we were driving to see you a couple of days ago, mm-hmm. just seeing Hamilton the uh, like on the Skyway. Mm-hmm. Fucking made me want to film something again. I miss filming stuff. I know, me too, man. I miss doing anything other than jerking off in my parents' basement. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling myself things Fuck. are going to change. Things are going to 2021. 2021 is going to be my year. I'm finally going to get a flashlight. No. <laughs> Fuck. I, I really want to be like, I'm, I've never been one of those people that's like January 1st. I'm going to turn my fucking life around. But I'm yeah. going to I'm gonna try and turn my life around on January 1st. <laughs> What are you going to, you're just going to turn around on January 1st. That's all. You're going to turn around from your bed, from your, like, you're on I'm your gonna, bed facing your TV and you're going to turn around <laughs> turn and face around. a different wall. <laughs> I'm going to turn around and headbutt my wall until my brains <laughs> fall out of my head. Yeah. <laughs> well, things are really turning around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to break my own neck until my head's <laughs> the opposite way and then live the rest of my life walking around like that. Yeah, did you see Eli? He really turned his life around. <laughs> He's got a pretty good head on his shoulders. He managed to turn his whole life around. <laughs> it's such a stupid joke, but I and love then it. T- <laughs> turn your life. My life got turned upside down, and I'm just doing handstands. That's crazy too. <laughs> Watching fresh, fresh prints. Why that? That's one of the lyrics in the intro music. My life got turned upside down. Oh my god! How did I? Sorry, dude. I'm really checked out of life right now. <laughs> You know what? Now we're the fact that I missed the nine eleven joke, the last one. Oh yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, <clears throat> baby. So we yeah, we never even talked much about Christmas because we were so high on mushrooms. We're very high on mushrooms. 
Um, yeah, it was very good. But yeah, we didn't even say anything about. I was going to talk about Christmas memories and stuff. Yeah, you got any good ones? Uh, well, there's like my dad. He bought this. Like, tell me about the time at Christmas when you had a dad. Okay, yeah, you <laughs> take. I'll take you back, dude. Yeah. So I had a dad. Yeah, I still do. Great dad. It's fucking jealous. <laughs> you like, shut up. Stop it right now. You just you always try to rub this mind. in my fucking face. <laughs> I have to bring that up. <laughs> no, but he uh, he had this expensive ass video camera that cost him like two grand at the time. It's probably worth about thirteen cents now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, he used to videotape everything. So we have just we've like got so many childhood memories logged. And he used to like to do. Uh, commentary over the while he was taking the video like oh open up your fucking present Eli what did Santa get you you know what I mean yeah and he would always try and be like funny about it and one Christmas I was like a little baby like I couldn't talk or anything and my brother was like four years old and he's like daddy watch I'm gonna do a snow angel and he just like lays on the ground and starts doing a snow angel. My dad's like, oh, that's great. That's great, Jesse. But you, but you got a little something on your face. And he kicks snow into my brother's face. <laughs> and my brother's like, oh, daddy. <laughs> and then it cuts. It cuts to like three hours later. <laughs> it's frostbite. It's fucking eyeball. <laughs> three hours later and there's skin peeling off. <laughs> He's, he's like, yeah, he's just nursing a cup of cocoa, opening his oh, stocking. Another clock, like it was, it cut to like three hours later where my brother's singing like Christmas songs in the middle of the night, like while my dad's taking video of the Christmas lights that he put up. Very wholesome moment, you know what I mean? And, yeah. um, and then it cuts to we're inside uh, the house and I think we're building like a gingerbread man or something like that. And mm -hmm. my brother had like a diet Pepsi and he takes a sip of the Pepsi or diet Coke. And he yeah. does, you know, when kids try drink pop, but they don't know much about pop. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Like, yeah. They like and they drink shake. it too quickly and it's yeah. the carbonation. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Ooh, the bubbles. I love ooh. that shit. Oh, being a kid and tasting those bubbles, you're like, Ooh, I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. I had an <laughs> argument with an ex-girlfriend that like, if we had kids, she was trying to say like, she wouldn't give them uh soda which is like you definitely don't want your kids addicted to you know I, like drinking a lot of soda but i was like man you got to give them every now and then a yeah nice, you know you go to the movies give your kid a coca-cola there's like a fucking it's, scene in that book the road yeah or like a part in that book the road where he, he does just just that well they don't go to like the movies or anything but uh it's just such like a heartwarming they're watching scene. a bunch of fucking freak cannibals eat each other's groins and he's like yeah this, the one like warm Pepsi. nice moment he like gives his son a coca-cola <laughs> all of a sudden he becomes a shitty kid he's like fuck you dad i'm on a sugar rush <laughs> He starts rebelling in the midst of a, an apocalypse. <laughs> You're such a fag, Dad. <laughs> He's like, damn it. The book, the book I should have listened a, to Dakota's ex-girlfriend. Yeah. yeah, the book becomes a parable about sugary foods <laughs> yeah. during a post-apocalyptic situation. But I do think it's not about like withholding things from kids because kids are going to find out whether you like it or not because they go to school yeah, with other it's kids. About teaching kids like good habits yeah and moderation like, and shit exactly and like yeah, also was, like um, I, yeah. I, that fucking broad was a real piece of work <laughs> yeah so that's all i was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we don't need to trash anybody on here dude yeah no it was just uh but you know some people are just like intense dietary wise or like they'll have a philosophy man if there was know? a if there was a podcast with all of my ex-girlfriends just talking shit about me the whole time, it'd be yeah, brutal. You think it'd be dude. good? You think it'd be nice? No, it'd be brutal. They'd be like, oh my God, his dick was so good and he ate my pussy so good. And it'd be, it'd be hours of that. And he was really terrible at communicating <laughs> his emotions, but he uh, licked my pussy so good. <laughs> Like, um, I'd listen to that podcast. Had real bad commitment issues and he drank too much. <laughs> but, well, <laughs> he had sex with me, so good. <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> this is all, all the girls I ever dated, they only go, it was good. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> How was that dickin', baby? Oh, it, it was good. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but was it like the best ever? Oh, for sure. It was good. It was good. <laughs> Why do they sound but, like that? But you don't communicate well. And um, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, they sound like idiots. <laughs> yeah, that thing was good. But you, I, I think you're, you haven't unlocked your emotional potential yet. And you're not really emotionally available for me. So I don't see a long term future with you. <laughs> oh, but the, t- but the dick was good, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah they, nobody, I think they're stooping down to like your level. To, mm-hmm. <laughs> nobody like wants to marry. Level. Nobody wants to marry somebody who fucks good, and that's it. Yeah, of course not. No, thank thank God for that too. For me, <laughs> <laughs> thank God. Nah, you you fuck good. You're a good yeah. sex man. Thanks. So. I'm okay. I guess felt good when I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did after mushrooms. <laughs> I yeah. was just saying racial slurs, and he was fucking me in the ass. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice. It was a good mush. It was an enlightening mushroom trip. It was wholesome. I, I, the best part about mushrooms is when both of us just stare at each other and start screaming, laughing at each other for no reason. Yeah, like the my hardest landlord. belly laughing, laughing. Yeah, we looked fucked. Both of, like your eyes looked uh, like evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but 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 minded too. <laughs> yeah, we both we were both acting pretty evil for a little while, dude. Yeah, <laughs> and the was, funny thing about mushrooms is, like, with you and I, oh, I don't know if maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but like when some people describe them and they they like have these nice, like, they have like epiphanies. They have mm. like really like piercing revelations profound ideas exactly when i do mushrooms like i remember when i did them again you know an ex-girlfriend i did them and uh she was like we were like into the the trip was starting like we're both starting to trip and she's like how long do these last for and i said well the thing is babe they they last forever we did the infinity mushrooms and she immediately started bawling and just crying (laughs) well you don't want to be on mushrooms forever baby (laughs) Yeah, and I kept making jokes like that, and uh, Infin- like, the- <laughs> like infinity mushrooms. Like, yeah, what, are a, what are you dating? What are you dating a twelve-year-old kid? <laughs> you see, the thing is, Tommy, you just ate a magic bean. <laughs> what the fuck, this gullible ass girl? Yeah, I know, right? It's not my. It's just, like who? Yeah, how could she believe that? But the thing is, did you immediately tell her I'm just joking, or did you yes. keep going with it? Well, I said, I'm just joking. But then I said, look, the clock's broken. We're stuck here forever. And oh, the clock so just, was broken. I just yeah. I did kind of keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, you were still kind of like keeping her in that world of paranoia. Yeah. That's <clears> the thing. When I do mushrooms, I, I uh, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm not necessarily mean, but. No, you're a little hysterical, though. Yeah. Well, I remember um, when we were at uh, our friend, our mutual friend, Sam's Cottage. Yeah, uh, I was on mushrooms and I had this idea to capture a, a bumblebee because Sam is allergic to bumblebees. <laughs> and I was going to catch we were, we were going to catch the bumblebee, put it in the freezer. Uh, I remember this. Let it freeze. Take it out. All this unbeknownst to Sam, tie a string to it and yeah. then give it to Sam as a gift. Uh, hopefully killing him. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it just turns around and stings him in the face. Yeah, we got about, we like, we we got up to the point of tying the bee. Like we and we were all on mushrooms and uh, we were all like going through with this plan. Like we were almost actually going to kill our friend. And then luckily one of our friends who was not on anything, uh, he he caught wind of this little murder plot. And, and he was, was like, like, you guys are stupid. Why don't, yeah, you, like, why don't you take inject the venom out of it and put it in one of his drinks? <laughs> <laughs> then you don't... You, know, <laughs> you, have to do, you have to like... Then you don't have to tie a string around this... You know, around the wings of this bumblebee. That is funny. I remember doing that when I was a kid and it's really funny because the bee will just... He's flying normal and then he hits that perimeter and it's like... Ugh! And he just bounces back. It's very <laughs> funny, actually. It's the coolest thing to have a pet bumblebee. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. One time I uh, rode my bike. <laughs> That's it. No, one time I uh, I was riding my bike and I heard a... I, this is completely unrelated, but I was like, what the fuck was that? And I got off my bike and I ran over a frog and all of its guts came out of his mouth. Like, Bleh. oh, fuck. And I rode my bike home and cried to my mom. <laughs> oh, really? You're sad? <laughs> oh, fuck. It really bummed me out, dude. 
Yeah, I know that has nothing wanna... to do with anything we were just talking about. Uh, oh, you're thinking about just animals. I don't yeah. know, bugs, well, creatures. Well, one time my uncle he used to um, he used to collect salamanders for me on the Bruce Trail and bring them to my house. And I was like, oh my god, nice. these are amazing, right? And you, I would keep. Wasn't the in coolest like, thing when you were a kid, like catching? Uh, I used to like try and catch frogs and like snakes. Catching best. bugs is the best, and then you get older and yeah. it becomes bug chasing. It becomes a profession. <laughs> Yeah, just chasing the whole one. lane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But no, he. <clears throat> so he caught me like six salamanders, and I had them in this jar. And show and tell was like two days away, and I'm like, "Fuck yeah, I'm gonna go and show all the kids these salamanders." Kids are gonna think I'm the coolest motherfucker on the block, right? Yeah. So I bring in this big fucking jar, this pile of slop, <laughs> and I had let <laughs> I had let these salamanders sit in a jar of mud and water for three days, <clears throat> in the in the hot sun, and they were just like boiled fucking salamander stew. And I'm trying to show all these kids, these, I'm like, look at the salamanders, and they're just like these white dead blobs. <laughs> You're like a kid from the family from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, just. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, they die better that way. When you hit them with the hammer, they die better that way. You knock them in the, knock them in the head. <laughs> I feel I like I, I, the older I get, the more I feel like, I used to think I was like, I'm Superman or I'm Iron Man. Now I'm like, no, nah, I am that guy that worked at the slaughterhouse in Texas Chainsaw Massacre that cuts that retarded guy's hand. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely closer to that than Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm so I'm really close to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, uh, all I need is a bad uh, what do you call those things? Like a liver spot on my face or <laughs> yeah. birthmark on my face and then I'm going to be that guy from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's one of my favorite That's movies right. of all time. Well, then it's not a bad guy to be, is it? I'm in love with that movie, man. <clears throat> so good. It's yeah. fucking. I watched it last year for Halloween, and uh, oh, yeah. the ending of that movie. God damn it, man! So jarring. Was that the when first you... movie ever to do like the faux based on a true story thing, or like or like real events? You know, based mm. on real events. Well, the 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 story of Texas Chainsaw is based loosely around Ed, Ed Gein or whatever the serial killer. But he right. was just a, you know, he was a guy who, yeah, he wasn't like Leatherface. He just wore, he made like right. a, he made like a belt out of women's nipples. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean? but doesn't. <laughs> like, what is he, Versace? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it By might the way, be. That's, that's such a stupid thing. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to make a belt out of woman's nipples. <laughs> it's like, this belt looks stupid as fuck. Yeah, you probably don't even wear belts. Fucking no, no it, practical utility. He probably tried it on and was like, well, well this doesn't fit very well, but people are going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> and it breaks immediately. <laughs> yeah. Oh, serial killers are so funny sometimes. But um, I don't know if that's the first. I don't think it is. I'm sure there's earlier ones. Cause it, cause the, the, yeah, and it's not only just like based on, but it says like, you know, all the people you see in this movie were real victims. Like this was. Oh, it's that's not, it's not like it's not like found footage necessarily, but it is like it leans into that of like this is all true. No, that's but that's a fabrication. That's yeah, a, that's what I mean. Like the yeah. faux, like the fake fabrication. You know, how like oh, Far I know what you're Fargo, saying. Yeah, like Fargo opens with the thing yeah. like based on true event, but but it's I thought not you at meant. All. Uh, yeah, because there's a movie called like I think it's called like Deranged. For, I think it's from the same time, but there's yeah. a couple movies that are just loosely based on serial killers and stuff like that. But <clears throat> right. I know what you mean, where they're like the following in this film is true and blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a pretty sick you... like device. Like, it it's is a good definitely. way to set up your movie. Well, it worked. But... It worked really well back in 1974. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that scared the shit out of people. Like, oh, this people like this really exist, and they actually do. Really, yeah. <laughs> especially in the deep south, man, they do. Yeah, yeah, they but fucking it, do, just, man. It's such a gritty fucking movie, and like the scene where they first approach the house, mm -hmm. and there's like <clears throat> the the daffodils or like those yellow flowers. So they're like passing yeah. like, a field of those beautiful yellow flowers. And they're then the guy in the van at this point, right? Well, or... no, they they're already they've already gotten out and they're uh, like studying the abandoned house. And two people they're like looking for someone who has gas or something like that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And they find this house, and it's yep. and it's got the beautiful flowers around the perimeter. And they walk in. The guy walks inside. 
And he's like, hello? Mm-hmm. No one's home. Hello? And then hello? that's, <laughs> hello, <laughs> I'm naked. <laughs> no, he like, the fucking sliding steel door just was like, whoosh. And he just belts him in the head. It's Leatherface just belts him in the head with a hammer, like, thunk hits the ground. And then he yeah. slams the fucking uh, steel door shut. And it's like, and it's fucking terrifying. You Ugh. know what's interesting with that movie is they still have a, a like a tight, Close knit family, the, <laughs> yeah. the leather face. Like they're they're all like really. I'm kind of envious of that. I've had like uh, you know family dinners that are fucking just grueling to get through. But you know what? At least they have a close family. <laughs> yeah, I'd give it all up just to have grandpa let gr- grandpa get a whack at her head. <laughs> <laughs> Let grandpa have a whack. <laughs> no, you know, it's kind of symbolic of like a COVID Christmas where it's like, yeah, mm-hmm. we can't have any guests over. So, so it's just going to be the family. No, it's just, so intruders come into the home and give them COVID. They're like, oh, right, right. <laughs> We're not going to stand for this. We're going to let grandpa whack this bitch in the head with a fucking hammer and knock the COVID out of her brain. <laughs> Do you think there'll be COVID horror films? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. I honestly hope not. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I guarantee like... you, there's going to be some sort of Sharknado, fucking human centipede movie about COVID nineteen for sure. Yeah, it's a shark with COVID. Yeah, <laughs> a cokehead shark with COVID. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds yeah, cool. Dude. I don't believe in this mask shit. The mask bullshit. Can I come in? Isn't that just uh, roller sharks or what was that TV show? Street sharks. Street sharks. <laughs> roller sharks. <laughs> I love those things, man. Oh, I had, street like, sharks! Those street sharks action figures. Yeah, remember biker mice from Mars, man? Yeah, they were they made by it. the same people? A lot of that seems like it's all made by one. Oh yeah, it's all guy. like Hasbro. <clears throat> yeah, it's a, like all of these cartoons are based. They're they're the only point of these cartoons is to sell toys. That's why every at cartoon, every character has like three uh, accessories that they always use. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. <clears throat> yeah, it's all merchandise. Now That's people whole... just fucking watch like, you know, sexy teens on YouTube. That's what kids watch now. Yeah. And then, and then they buy like sex things. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? Sex huh? things? Is that what huh? happens? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything. I might watch a fucking, I might watch a fucking movie tonight, dude. What, what are you thinking of watching? Here, I actually have a great uh, one that I really want to watch. It's called Green for Danger. <clears throat> it came Green out for ni- Danger? Green for Danger. It came out in 1946. And it's basically after the nurse who declares that a recent surgical death was a murder dies also, an enigmatic Scotland Yard inspector arrives to investigate. It's like a mystery thriller. Sounds good. (laughs) Yeah, man. It's the year? In like 1946. It sounds like just the thing I'm after. Yeah. That's awesome. We should do a... uh, Like a live... Yeah, like a live stream, like movie night thing. I would love that. That'd be cool. I've seen people do that. It's pretty... uh, Like us doing... Like us doing mystery science theater where we just yeah. like watch a movie and talk shit about it the whole time. Exactly. That would be awesome. Like a play by play. Yeah. We could do like some of our, our favorites too, like street trash. Or even just, <clears throat> I think we should do one that neither of us have ever seen. That's a good idea too. Finding some like real, uh, like bottom <clears throat> of the barrel, like niche shit. Well, I got, like I've got the suckling on Blu-ray. I still haven't oh, watched yeah. it. Yeah, It's supposed you brought to be... that over too. Yeah, I always say we're going to watch it, but then, you know. You end up always, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just end up, you know, hanging out. <laughs> but, um, no, I, I neither of us have seen The Suckling, and it's, a, it's like a good quality Blu-ray. We might as well watch that and just talk, talk yeah. shit about it. I'd love to talk shit about The Suckling. Yeah, my little suck. <laughs> it's it's just a it's just a sex tape of me. You date raped me. <laughs> it's just me. me. <laughs> it's just you sleeping with me suckling on your titty. I look like fucking. Uh, what's that? <laughs> what's that guy's name? That that guy you, uh, Carla? No, uh, Luca Magnata. Luca Magnata. Yeah, yeah it's new, like a there's new order playing in the background. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a Luca Magnata video, but <clears throat> it's you just you laying naked and me suckling on your titties for twelve minutes. <laughs> You know what? It's not bad. It's not bad. I like it. It's better than the other guy got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least I'm alive. And yeah. Uh, Ooh, I'm I remember. Not, I'm not going to make that joke. I remember watching that video. It was fucked. So fucked. Did you see the Netflix documentary on it? 
No, don't it fuck, kill. Oh, really? Kill, it's good, man. Fuck, don't fuck with cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, it is really I hate good. the name of it. Oh, don't fuck with cats. I know. I hate it too. It's this is a serious true crime documentary. Like, well, but to be fair, it is like um, a lot of like how so a lot of people at the time these like activists. A lot of these oh. actors on the internet, they like, that's how they caught wind of him because he was uploading like videos of himself torturing cats. And I then actually, they, they, <clears throat> ev- they like tried to track him down through that because they knew it kept, you know, it kept on escalating and they knew he was going to progress to like actually killing someone. So it was wow. all these, so it makes sense why it's called that, but I know what you mean. Wow. Still fucking stupid. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm just kidding. I'm still <laughs> stupid, dude. I stand by my point. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, shit. Oh, shit. I had an idea for something I wanted to talk about and I forgot. Stupid yeah, Netflix. Fucking stupid Netflix. Brain. Fuck Netflix. Fuck them. Fuck it. Oh, my God. So what's in the news on Netflix? Um, I never I watch Netflix. Movies. and I don't even watch streaming services anymore. <clears throat> I don't get yeah, enough. Neither do the last... I just watched... Like, the last thing I watched was that show with Mark Ruffalo on uh, HBO. I'm watching The Mandalorian right now. It's pretty good. I really want to watch that, actually. It's actually really good. It's so Man. weird how all the like Star Wars side projects are infinitely better than... Uh, yeah, like Rogue, Rogue like One. Like all the main... Like, yeah, Rogue, like One Rogue One's like is better than rocks. any other Star, Star Wars movie by far. I was I, watching and I like, like it today. even more than like the original trilogy. Which I is would one hundred percent stand by that. <clears throat> the original yeah. trilogy, it's so it's trying too hard to go between like blockbuster, camp, and space opera. Whereas, yeah, whereas I think yeah. Rogue One narrowed down the like the space opera like action packed film Definitely. pretty well. It's pretty Did well you, in like. I like it. Have you seen <clears throat> anything of The Mandalorian? Uh, I saw Baby Yoda. Oh, yeah, give like me all the, Baby Yoda. I've seen the memes. That's all it is I've now. I've uh, you know, if you've seen the meme, you've seen the show. People yeah. are just watching memes. Oh, like our whole life is defined by memes now. You can tell. Yeah. You look Nobody at a meme. Nobody watches television. No, you read a meme and then you think about it for seven days. Yeah, you read a meme and then you come. I got got my money's worth. Man, I was speaking of coming, dude. I was watching porn the other day. And you know how they do ads on like Pornhub or something like that? I have an ad blocker, so. (sighs) Okay. I do know. Sorry. (laughs) You fucking. (laughs) I don't know why I said that. What a shitty way to derail like any momentum. Oh, okay. Never mind. (laughs) Never mind this joke. (laughs) Sorry, go on. That's so dumb of me to say. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. I'm glad you have ad blocker, dude, because some of us don't. <laughs> some of us are stupid and don't. Some of us like the ads because it helps make comedy bits. <laughs> Imagine you never coming up with anything funny because you never see any fucking shitty ads ever. I've never seen an ad. I don't know. <laughs> you haven't seen an ad since you were 13. <laughs> Like an ad blocker. <laughs> Yo, do you, do you, are you sure you didn't click on dad blocker? <laughs> My mom boom, clicked boom, on that one. Boom, roasted. <laughs> Bam. I'm just you zing me, zinger. That's quite a Christmas. That's quite a Christmas zinger, dude. Yeah, oh. sure is. Anyway, so, so, the, the so porn I was hub, watching Pornhub ad. I was yeah. watching Pornhub with ads. I know, crazy. But the, the the free ad was for like a sniper game. I thought you were <laughs> gonna say just a sniper rifle. No, it was a game. Or it, it, but it's one of those games where it makes it oh. makes in order to skip the ad, you have to shoot somebody in the head first. <laughs> like you can't just go to next. You have to like shoot some. You have to. It shows you the example of the game before you can move on. Can you imagine? It's like the girl in the porn you're about to watch. <laughs> you just shoot her in the pussy and download Sniper Two. <laughs> You have to kill her after you come. You just zoom in with the sniper scope and there's like there's like a Taliban guy in her pussy. <laughs> he has a bomb strapped to the clit or something. Yeah, shoot him in the head before he sets off the bomb. <laughs> Man, that's fucking cool. I'm, well, in, just I'm made, removing my ad blocker. Yeah, well, it made me think like that's like the, the people watching porn and also pretending they have sniper rifles. Like, that's just a recipe for fucking incel beta cuck bitch stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, they know their audience. That's for yeah. sure. <laughs> oh, that, that's exactly what my what I was thinking about. Is yeah, like, man. All that like analytical data is definitely taken into consideration. Like, like okay, yeah. you never when you're watching, you never see advertisements for like 
big dick condoms. You know what I mean? It's always like, yeah, because then you know they're getting guys with big dicks, even the ugly ones. You know they're getting some yeah. stuff. Well, they they do apparently track your personal data to do like targeted ads. Oh, that's why I'm getting sniper games and baby <laughs> condoms. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, they, got a pro- they got a profile on you. Oh god, no! <laughs> That's why I get the bin Laden shoot the terrorist pussy and then baby condoms. <laughs> yeah, you reward some baby condoms. Oh, condoms for babies. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Oh fuck! But no, I actually I bought a pair. Um, not a pair. I bought a pack of Magnum condoms. Yeah. Just to jerk off, because I never tried them. I just, uh, there was a time where I hooked up with a girl and she's and she was like, I was hooking up with her and she's like, do you have condoms? And I'm like, no. You know, my classic move? No, I don't have one. Guess I'm going to have to do it without one. <laughs> and she's like, oh, don't worry. I got one. And she oh, pulls no. out a Magnum. <laughs> like a <laughs> massive one? <laughs> she, oh, she pulls out a garbage bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got one. It's a garbage bag. <laughs> yeah, the last guy fucked left it left it here. <laughs> yeah, there's still some of his cum in it, but we can. <laughs> I'll spit shine it for you. <laughs> you, you, <have> to <laughs> jump pull, you throw your whole body inside. <laughs> <laughs> she pulled out a magnum, and I just immediately got intimidated and sad, and like Fuck. I couldn't get hard afterwards. That so would, I was like, I would have the same reaction. No, but so I'm trying to face. I bought some magnums. Also, I wanted to go to the store and buy magnum condoms and pay for them with like a hot cashier. You yeah, know what I mean, be like, yeah, I need this for my dog. You know, that's in It's Always Sunny jokes. So I don't know what I'm... Anyways, <laughs> so, but I I ended up using the uh, instant, uh, like the computer. <laughs> so I was like bragging about my big dick to a computer instead of a real person. Oh, like, self-checkout. like, like the self-checkout? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, those are from my big dick. And they're like, do you want to pay a debit, you fucking small dick idiot? <laughs> we already have all your data. <laughs> I love the idea of, I love the image of you just in front of the self-serve, like explaining to it that you have a big dick. And it's like, when I, when I press, I want to pay with debit. It's like, first you have to play this sniper game. It's everywhere you go. I try to get on the bus. They're like, yeah, first you got to shoot this Taliban guy in the head with a sniper rifle. God damn it. Yeah, it's just no longer a video game at this point. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Good thing gun laws are so strict here. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> yeah. But no, it is like that is. So I did. I bought these uh, big boy condoms and I took them home and uh, threw on a little pornography and I uh, I threw it on. I tried it out while I was jerking off. And How does uh, it fit? You know, <clears throat> the thing about them are <laughs> the mm-hmm. uh, the so really big. <laughs> It's <laughs> really big and you need to have two dicks to put in one. <laughs> the thing about them is <laughs> white people shouldn't use them and I hate black I hate black penis. <laughs> no, I tried they're a bit, they're like the <laughs> the length is almost the same. It's the girth around the head that is different. So like you put it on, mm. like you could definitely I realize like if if I get in that situation again, I can definitely fuck with a magnum condom. Yeah. The head is a it's a little bit baggier around the head, but if you got a good stiffy, it's not bad. It's not bad. No, it's not going to fall off into a girl's pussy. Right. Maybe a Viagra would would uh, like send you over the finish line to kind of fit nicely, maybe. Yeah, I think that's yeah. what I would need. Honestly, I'm not gonna. I'm under no illusions. I don't. Oh, what? I, what did you say? A vag? A, a Viagra. Oh, Viagra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I? I cut think out? said a vag, and I think you're just talking about a vag. <clears throat> no, a vag. Yeah, to yeah, like, but... you know, throw you, you know, push you over to the edge there to like fit perfectly. Yeah, yeah, because you're just swelled up with so much blood. Yeah, yeah. The skin is <laughs> bursting. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, like, I, I doubt it would fall off. So, right. shout out to all my uh, average dick men out there. <clears throat> We're if you rocking. Wanna, if you want to pretend you got a big dick, try them out. Mm-hmm. Try them out. Because they probably won't fall off unless you have a really skinny penis. Right. Right. Sorry, I'm. What am I talking? Like I'm pretending I got a really nice dick. <clears throat> we already have established I have a good dick, not a nice yeah. dick. Yeah. <laughs> it's a so, good babe, dick. How was my dick, baby? Oh my god, it was. It was good. It was good. <laughs> was it better? Did I fuck you better than your ex? Um, you you fucked me pretty good. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> 
Yeah, but <laughs> but, but I'm nicer than your ex, right? Mm, you're pretty good. <laughs> Well, actually, actually, you have emotional problems. And, yeah, uh, actually, he was really good at talking about his feelings. <laughs> <laughs> but you're pretty good. <clears throat> That's my like life so one. far. I like your I'm like Miss, Miss Swan from uh, yeah. Mad TV. Oh, yeah, he looking like a man. That was Bobby Lee, right? No, that, no that was Alex Bornstein. That's the voice of... Uh, oh, fuck. It's even worse because it's a white woman pretending to be an Asian woman. <laughs> That's awesome. There's Dude, a that- fucking perfectly funny Asian on hand as a cast member. And you still... <laughs> this, was a li- white guy. <laughs> this was a little bit before Bobby Lee was in the cast. This was like... Oh, he wasn't in the cast. Okay. Yeah, like Miss Wan was like season two, season three. And Bobby Lee didn't come in until like season five. And she, Alex Bornstein, she went on to do, she's the voice of Lois on Family Guy. Right. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember yeah. completely. She's a really funny actress. But yeah, it she's was hilarious. It would have been better if they shelved that joke for a little bit and let Bobby Lee do it. Yeah. That's, that was probably my, like, favorite sketch show. I think. Uh, Mad, like, Mad TV in the late 90s was the best. Yeah. I remember, like, my brother and his friends so staying weird. up late. It was, it was a great, like, <clears throat> what was it, the Spishak Razor, where it's like, instead of three blades, yeah, it's, it's just got four. It's like 43 <laughs> blades. It's like, the, he's like, the third layer, it, cut, it trims the first layer of your flesh. The fourth layer severs the arteries. And the guy's like, I love the Spishak Razor. And his whole face is just ble- bleeding out profusely. Yeah. Fucking wicked. That's a great sketch. <laughs> or that bit, that Mo Collins bit where that girl was, she's like, oh. Oh, she's, oh yeah she's at like a girl buffet? who's always it was always like uh, there was one sketch they did where like her uh like family members like dying of lung cancer and she's like don't you know like they, they cause cancer <laughs> she's like on her deathbed <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I think I, that think, is I it. think it was the same character. Yeah. She would always be the where oh. people would try to explain stuff to her, and she'd be like, "Huh?" And they'd be like, "Well, you got to huh? What?" And they'd be like, "Well, you have to huh?" And they'd be like, "Listen, listen to what I'm saying." And she'd be like, "Sneak, <laughs> like always, like coughing all over her food and stuff like that." Uh, Mo Collins is the best. That's fucking sick. Didn't they? Uh, they recently it got thrown on a like a streaming service. I think. What? No. Think, yeah, man. I think it's on H. HBO Max? It might don't be. Fuck with me. I don't know. If it's on Crave. Look it up. It's on something now. It definitely, oh my God. like, recently, I think within this past year, got thrown on a streaming service. You have no idea how good of news that is. I've been, like, because yeah. I've been looking at, like, buying, like, the DVDs because I just want to go back and watch, like, the first four seasons of it. Yeah, it man. Like, we should. Oh, very influential yeah, show should, for me. Yeah. I would love to rewatch it. Oh, we should have a marathon. You and me, Damn big man. boy. Over the holidays. We'll just do a 12 hour live stream where we just watch Mad TV the whole time. And we'll we just recreate the bits we like just... idiots. <laughs> <laughs> All you hear is us jerking off. All you hear like, oh, yeah, you're going to make me come. <laughs> oh! oh, yeah. You're going to suck it. Suck my ass. Hell, he's looking like a man. <laughs> Uh, he's looking like a man. <laughs> Still, I, look what I can do. <laughs> yeah. Look what I can do. Look what I can do. Well, yeah, these want my dick to cool. You gotta make me. You gotta make me talking come. <laughs> <laughs> and that was our fucking live stream. Thanks I for didn't like the live stream. <laughs> yeah, we weren't on mushrooms. We were uh, we were just high on life. <laughs> we were just yeah. High we were just hat. We were in a, just a good mood. <laughs> we were just gay. <laughs> <laughs> we've been gay, and you know we've been gay, and now we're gay. <laughs> we were gay we are gay and we will be gay welcome to the gay boy podcast <laughs> yeah i'm sorry but we our, our radio show is called butt boys radio what did you expect i love seeing youtube comments where like you guys should change your name it's kind of gay <laughs> no nah. no shit <laughs> yeah. what do you want to yeah, call it, the pussy you... getters podcast yeah no we're not that confident I love that. I do love that you have to like sift through like a bit of like gay content to find us. Yeah, because if you type in butt boys on YouTube, the first thing that I see is butt boys. But then every other video is like hot little Twinkie boys showing off their new underwear. Yeah, it's really (laughs) suggestive. We should link up with one of those guys as a sponsor. Like the butt boys radio podcast (laughs) is brought to you by the other butt boys YouTube page. Yeah, by all the, the, the thousands of twinks. 
<laughs> Honestly, they probably got more subscribers than we probably have a couple people listening to this podcast right now who are expecting this to be <clears throat> like some sort of fun yeah. kinky podcast. There's got to be some confusion in like both directions, I think, for sure. Wait, this isn't dude, what kind of comedy is this? I watched fucking 12 <laughs> hours this? of this. I didn't hear one joke. <clears throat> Just a bunch of nice this- asses. <laughs> That guy came in his mouth. Where's <laughs> I don't get it. Where's the punchline? That's not a fucking punchline. He actually, I, maybe if he came some hot sauce or something, it was too spicy. That'd be a good punchline. <laughs> but just come regular old cum. I don't know. It seems a little on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's in fact, it's a, it was on his nose. It was a little was bit dripping. on his nose. <laughs> yeah, he, he came right up his nose. <laughs> it was on the nose. It was in the nose. It was around the nose. I don't get it. Not for me. You ever uh, eat chocolate upside down? I don't think I've ever done that. No. This sounds like a joke, but it's not. <laughs> if you uh, like, if you say you're doing like a f- cartwheel or uh, like a front roll while you're eating chocolate, if the yeah. chocolate like kind of gets into your nasal cavity a little bit, it fucking hurts and it feels like shit. What kind of chocolate? Like milk, any chalk, dark? yeah, milk, milk, dark, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, ch- <laughs> what are you ad blocking my chocolate right now, motherfucker? <laughs> any chocolate, you know, what kind? Because <laughs> I actually, I only eat uh, salted caramel 75% chocolate, so that probably wouldn't happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Any goddamn chocolate? <laughs> well, I believe it if it was Toblerone, but I don't know about Hershey. <laughs> it's so funny because it's not even a good bit. It's, it literally <laughs> it doesn't matter yeah, if you're. I don't know what to do with this information. <laughs> yeah. Well, it just it. I remember like Christmas. Wait, why time. are you eating chocolate upside down? Well, I just remember like eating chocolate while wrestling with my brother and doing like a cartwheel. And then when I get up and like, oh, like some of the wet chocolate that I'd already been chewing and swallowing kind of made it into my nasal cavity and it just hurt and didn't feel good. Yeah. So I just wanted to let all of our listeners know that you shouldn't be doing that. Don't let your kids do that either. That's a good, that's a good ender right there. Hold on. I have to, uh, Sam and Danny are are at my door. Mm. So let them in. Let's go grab them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah, it's Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, last week, I didn't get a good chance to actually do that or talk about Christmas because um, we were so high on mushrooms. But, you know, it's it's been a tough time of year. <clears throat> it's been a tough year for me. I'm sure it's been a tough year for a lot of you. Hang in there because 2021 is going to be our year, ladies and fellas. You're going to get that pussy you always wanted, that job you always wanted, that dick you always wanted, even that food you always wanted. What are they laughing about? They're always laughing without me. Look at these fuckers, (laughs) these COVID super spreading cocksuckers. It's been a good one, eh? Don't you guys think? Okay, hurry up, you giggling cunt. (laughs) Everything's funny. What about the guy you just left (laughs) hot on the fucking air? While you're recording a podcast, just so fucking Tiny Tim with his fucking weird little fucking uh, stretcher arms can walk in. I don't know. All right, Hello? I'm back. What are you? Are you doing okay? <laughs> are you trying to fill the dead air? <clears throat> I was just doing a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just doing a bit. I was just doing a couple bits. That's all. Cool. Well, I can don't always. Listen. Uh, don't listen to this I before can... you. Okay. Leave it in. No. Yeah, leave it in. Perfect. Hell yeah. Leave All right, in. should we call it? <sighs> yeah. Can, wait, can you get Sam on here just to say hi really quick? Yeah, I was going to actually ask. Hold on. I'll get him. Yeah, it's going to take another 10 minutes, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just hang tight. <laughs> uh, so for those who don't know, Sam is... Um, Sam's the guy who uh, made the theme music for our podcast. He's a very good friend of mine. And uh, he was nice enough to come down and do an outdoor COVID-friendly visit with me and my family uh, on Boxing Day. And I really appreciate it. And uh, I love the guy. And he's I'm just sure putting he... on his... Um, uh, dick? Or he's taking off his shoes. He's taking off his dick and putting on his cock? Yeah, he's doing... <laughs> he's moving his cock. He's taking off his feet. He's taking off his feet and putting on his cock feet. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, my buddy 
I'm sure he's going to come on here and have a lot of nice things to say about me because uh, it was really, really special of him to come down and drive all the way to Hamilton just to say hi to me. You know what I mean? It's very nice. Danny is here too. Danny! We've mentioned, we've mentioned him before. He has a, his own podcast. Hell yeah, my dude. Good. Shout out to my boy, Dan Flynn. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. It's been a, it's been a treat. It's been a goddamn treat. You know what I mean? I guess next time we tune in, it's going to be the New Year's. You can both come in. Both come. Well, so, somebody get on the fucking mic. One of you, <laughs> one of you bastards better get on here right now. Hold on. Put this here. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? All right, we got Danny's here. Danny. Hi, Merry Christmas. <laughs> is there a video? No, Where's there a video? Danny? I'm getting a video. I want to fucking have a good look at you. There's Danny, no video. Can, you, can Danny hear me? Can you I hear him? You. Can you not hear me? Talking to the mic. Yeah, I hear him. <laughs> Hey Danny, yeah. hey Danny, is that's dark a podcast where you ride the bus and you see a black guy and go, that's dark. <laughs> My uncle made a very, very similar joke <laughs> <laughs> two weeks ago on a phone call, but not about my podcast. He just, he was talking about this place where people play cards and I was like, oh, it's a really dark place. And my uncle is like a really dark guy. And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, well, it's full. And then he said a bunch of, <laughs> it's full of bleeps. Yeah, my yeah, yeah. Yo, my <laughs> uncle one time he was <laughs> yo when Obama when Obama first got elected my uncle from Buffalo he's like oh great now all the spooks are gonna come out of the woodwork <laughs> yeah man we got some fucking bad uncles eh Eli and, Sam here oh my God Sarmiel happy I got him I got one in my yeah. happy Hanukkah to my Sarmiel <laughs> happy Hanukkah buddy Did, has 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 Dakota been uh, Giving you a hard time about your bucket or your your uh, yeah my bucket <laughs> yeah your, my big your, old your bucket that I carry out. my what your button phobia I didn't bring it up actually no you, he's never brought it up <laughs> this like, is like this might be a jackets? deluxe episode <laughs> apparently uh, Dakota was wearing shirts with big buttons and you were giving him a hard time about it for like a year well yeah. it's <laughs> disgusting I don't like buttons you know that <laughs> it sounds I'm imagining these buttons to be like. Each one like a little medallion, <laughs> <laughs> like like no, that Jackie Chan video. cartoon where he's collecting those medallions. You know, it, yeah, yeah. Dakota also told me that you're now wearing white Velcro Clarks. <laughs> As they're not they're not Clarks. They're called De Yo Sam. They're not called Clarks. They're called Life Walkers. <laughs> they're not Clarks. They're called li <laughs> they're legit old mate. They're called Life Walkers. They're for people who are about to die and can't walk. You should get one of those ladybug cell phones with the huge buttons. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't know if that's going to work with your phone. Yet. <laughs> Eli, Eli, do you wear diabetic socks? Well, I have some that my grandpa left me. <laughs> <laughs> They're copper. They're copper fitted. I am on. <laughs> I like I'm like a pre I'm a pre everything <laughs> pre diabetic full on gout at this point. Yeah, yeah. you really 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 want to get on insurance now. Hey, wait, uh, can I make a joke? Is Sam around? Yeah, yeah, he's here. Hey, Sam, if you were uh, in the Rat Pack, would you be Sammy Davis Punier? Because <laughs> you're a little fuck. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> we were just talking about how he's got size eight feet. <laughs> You and my mom could do a fucking shoe swap. Man, they're, they're ten at least. Dancing with Size the stars. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh my god. But yeah, Sam, I can't believe I didn't get to show you my fucking old man shoes. They're hilarious. Yeah, you're I'm just... a fucking pussy. Why don't you come here? <laughs> I'm. You know what? My mom. I was about to leave. My mom was like. Don't you think it's a little selfish? And I'm like, don't you think you should have told me this yesterday when I told you I was doing this? Eli, <sighs> why didn't you just keep up the lie that you were just we were going to just drive around? Uh, is this going to be on the po Is this the podcast? It's recording. Yeah, People this is the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see anything wrong. Like, okay, <laughs> let me just break it down. Like, I was supposed to come and hang out with Sam and Dakota and do the podcast live. Don't, don't, you don't owe him an explanation. <laughs> I live with my parents and I didn't want, uh, my parents were concerned that I was going to get COVID from this <laughs> Sammy Davis Punier <laughs> and handsome Dan <laughs> and goddamn Dakota the worm. <laughs> it's possible. One of the three of us definitely has something. Yeah. Uh, I think that's where we're yeah, going. I think, and I think two out of three of you have molescum. 
That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Welcome to the Molescan Podcast. Sam, what do you have to say? All right, man. <laughs> Molescan. <laughs> 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 See you, buddy. <laughs> Wait, are we done? We're done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> An hour and seven minutes. I think we're good. Hell yeah. Don't cut any of it out, though, okay? Also, Dakota, wish everybody a happy new year because we're not going to hear from them until after New Year's. Happy New Year's to all 10 of our subscribers. Yeah, when I'm a new man, when everything's different and we have a new year. And Bob Dylan's dead. <laughs> All right, take care, buddy. I love you. I'll send it to you right now. See ya.